was a bit of unexpected rain this morning when I first got on the water. Um, a few squalls around the area. It's supposed to be a clear and sunny day, but uh, sometimes it's just not exactly what the forecast is. So I've come back out to the spot where I got a marlin a couple of days ago. So I'm going to just put a spread of lures out, a couple of skirts, a deep diver, and uh, just have a look around. Hopefully a friend of mine got a wahoo a couple of days ago, so I'm hoping to maybe find one to get something to eat tonight. But um, not many boats out today, which is good compared to the other day. So have a bit of a look around, just see if we can find some fish. <laughs> Chase this fish down now. Do the line at the back, I've got to get in. Do the front more harder. Do the line. Tight. That fish came off and ate the shortest lure. That lure was only 10 meters back from the boat. And he's come in really close to pick that up. The strike position is him up. You just never know when these fish are gonna hit. That strike just came out of nowhere. I was just trolling over some really good scores of bait. Been a really quiet morning so far, trolling for about an hour and a half, no hits, and the hit just came out of nowhere. I just did two laps around this bait. Okay, it's gonna be my first solo marlin.
joys of fighting big fish by yourself. Ooh, it's going down deep. Keep away from that prop. Swing around this way, that's it. Just a little line on you now. Chaotic hookup then. Getting rods cleared, had three lines out. He was running around the boat, jumping at the front. Oh mate, this is what it's all about. Coming out solo and fishing for these species. I can't explain what a feeling that is. <laughs> that was unreal. Oh, to land my first marlin solo by myself, released properly, unharmed. Mate, there's just no words for that. That was incredible. I'm fishing on the full moon. Didn't really expect much action. I was almost about to give up. And I just trolled around those bait schools a couple more time and uh, finally got one. Man, that's a great feeling to just hook that fish and get it to the boat by myself. <laughs> Unreal. So things have gone a little bit quiet trolling around after that last fish and I saw a boat over here hook up using the live bait method. So what I'm gonna do here is uh, put a, a live yakker out that I've just jigged up on a circle hook. Gotta put him up through the head so he stays on really easily. And I'm gonna throw him out 
and then I've got a sinker here on a rubber band. So the idea is if the fish hooks up, then the rubber band will snap, and that'll allow the fish to fly freely. So I'll get this guy down. And there's a bunch of bait, massive bait school under me, so I'm just gonna sink this guy down to the bait school, and hopefully we get a hook up like we did the other day. Oh yeah, good hookup. Here we go again. The line. <laughs> I can see those fish arching on my line, swimming around my line. It's just a matter of time before they took it. Oh, it's going under the boat. I don't know what it is yet. Oh, I can feel it running on the bottom. Oh. Oh, I can feel it rubbing against the fish. Hold on. Oh god, damn it! We didn't have a chance for that whatever it was, eh? That was huge. Well, I don't know what that was then, but I just lost everything. It pretty much got me on the bottom. I could feel it rubbing against the tail or something, and yeah, it just dipped me. I've lost leader and all, so I've got to switch to another rig now. So there's no more hits on the live baits, so I put the trolling lures back out. I've got three lures out, put the Lumo on the left in close, I've got a pink shotgun and then I've got a, a pinky blue off to the side here. So I'm just gonna troll around the same area as where I got hit before. There's still bait schools around and we'll see if we get a hookup. It's the middle of the day. Uh, I've got about probably 45 minutes before I'm gonna uh, head back in. I've got a low tide at two o'clock and it's about quarter past 12. So blue skies, weather's good. Let's see if we get another hit. And we are on straight away. Losing quick. Fuck, he's jacked up. Come on. He's jumping at the back there. <laughs> I hooked up on the lightest gear. I'm a 40 pound. He's going out to the back there. I'm going to have to back up on him. Get the line back. Always away. This takes the lightest line. Trolling for two minutes. And we've got the hookup. He's taking the pink shotgun at the back on the lightest gear. So this is going to be an interesting fight. Uh, how much fun is that? Just a change of tactic from the live bait back to trolling. Right here and then getting that hook out.
let's get this guy back in the water. Well, it turned out to be quite an amazing session. You know, I've never caught a marlin solo before, so to get two of them in one session was uh, pretty exciting stuff. I did not expect that second one to take that trolling lure after only a minute or two of being in the water. So the two lures that work today, the green Lumo with the two hook rig, which as I said before, my mate Mitchy hooked up yesterday for me. And uh, the, other, the second lure that got taken was the shotgun at the back. Uh, the Lumo Law was only about oh, six, seven, eight meters behind the boat on the left hand side, and the Pink Law was about probably 30 to 35 meters behind the boat. And um, that's the two lures that did the damage. Great session. Uh, it's turned out to be an amazing day. Like It's like a different day than what it was five hours ago this morning. Raining, cloudy, shitty seas, and uh, now it's beautiful. So I've got about an hour and a half until the low tide. We're on a full moon, so it's going to be pretty shallow. So I'm going to head back in and... Um, yeah, edit some footage and uh, put it up online for you guys to see. Hope you enjoy it. See you next time.